Rocket Day 933. Magic. We're back to gray days by the looks of things. And I'm awake earlier than I even set my alarm, which is good because I need to be getting up early. Not great because it's because like one of my neighbors is doing jumping jacks with combat boots on or something. It hasn't stopped for like the last hour. Or so that makes the decision for me as to what I'm going to do with my morning at least. I was going to stay here and get some recording work done because I need to do some recording work on two different fronts. But instead, I'm going to go down to the Peloton, try to order some stickers and obviously postcards, get all that started. I also still need to finish filling out this form for uh, the tax man and uh, get that turned back in. But I'm feeling like the pressure is off on that a little bit. I'm not as worried about it, but I need to get it done because it's important. It's all important. Anywho, yeah, let's uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> Delicious. And I forgot I had a phone call with Prolific Works this afternoon. It's kind of a last minute thing. And uh, yeah, I was planning on staying down here because Natasha has her thing at Shakespeare and Company tonight. She's got an event at seven o'clock that I'm gonna be going to that I also, I didn't forget about it. That was what I was planning on going to down here. I was just jumbling my schedule up completely at this point. So, anywho, uh, yeah, we gotta go home, prepare for that. Hey, and Dixie, this made it. Thank you. I'm gonna be, uh, I'll open this when I get home. Hopefully it's lunch. Anyways, we'll piece this together. We'll be back down at Shakespeare Company shortly. But uh, in the meantime, I guess I'm gonna go home and work for a little bit. So I've also run into another problem, which is that uh, Patreon just updated their whole system, which I think is gonna be good in the long run, but at the moment is causing some problems. Namely, um, I can't, well, I mean, it's taking them extra time to process payments. So I haven't ordered the postcards yet because they haven't paid me yet. That'll happen hopefully in the next couple of days. The other thing is that they've ruined the messaging system. So I can't message new patrons. If you've become a new patron in the last couple of days or the last few days, normally I would send you a thank you note, like a personal thank you note, but it won't let me send messages. Like it's actually saying I don't have permission to create new message threads with new patrons. So I've submitted a ticket about that and hopefully their support team will be able to get back to me in no time and we'll be back in business. In the meantime, this box is hard to open. Was there an easy way to do this? Nope, apparently not. Okay, I guess I could I could get a knife or something. Aha, just tear it. Ah. Ah. Ooh, she said this is a Twitch survival kit. Goldfish. Kate is gonna be very, very disappointed that I did not open this at the Peloton because she was at the Peloton. Thank you. I have a feeling that that's gonna, that, that might find its way towards my helpful assistant. Ooh, honey roasted chipotle peanuts. How, that's a lot of adjectives. What is this? Chili. Honey sriracha ba baked pretzels. There's a lot going on there as well. It's been a long time. Ooh, popcorn. Pop secret popcorn. Thank you. It's been a while since I've been in America. I forget how many adjectives we throw into all of our snacks. Cheez-Its. Ooh, a four pack of Cheez-Its. Lots of video game snacks. This is a definitely a good Twitch survival kit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna last much better. I thought this was a pirate eye patch for a second, but it's a bookmark. This is where the fun stuff is happening. I agree, and it's purple. Make sure I don't miss anything. Thank you, Dixie, very much. I don't know how zoomed in that got, but thank you very much. This is really pretty too. Thank you, did you make this? And there's a card. 
Jay, I figured you could use some gaming snacks. That is very true. I'm gonna read this here in a second. Thank you so much, Dixie. I really deeply appreciate the delightful snacks and they will be deep inside my belly here soon and I might actually stream tonight. So there's a chance I might end up eating some of these snacks in the not too distant future, like in the next few hours. We'll find out. Anyhow, I'm wondering if I if I screwed up the lighting again here today, but that's neither here nor there. So there's a little bit of housekeeping. For those of you who are wait, I, I will send you thank yous soon. Sorry that I haven't yet kind of out of my hands. I have a phone call very shortly, so I'm gonna have to get on top of that for a minute, get some work done, and then we're gonna go down to Shakespeare and Company, which is an English-speaking bookstore, the most famous English-speaking bookstore or English bookstore in the entire city. It's right across the street from Notre Dame, and it's, I mean, uh, Ernest Hemingway's favorite bookstore, I'm pretty sure. Although, as I recall, he couldn't really afford to shop there very much when he lived here, but you know, whatever. We're gonna go check that out this afternoon, and we actually, we'll see if Laura lets us film there, but we we'll, might also go check out Laura's apartment. Originally, Natasha was gonna go before her event, but it sounds like she might not, but I need to go beforehand uh, because afterwards I need to come back here and I think, like I said, stream tonight. So we're just gonna play this by ear. Work, 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 and let's get out of here. You know, quick little 5K, not so bad. I cut it short because it's starting to rain and I didn't want to get caught out in the rain wearing this really far away from home, so uh, yeah. I mean, I got some makeup work to do anyways because I kind of, I didn't run enough last week. That's okay, I really needed to rest as well, which hopefully was enough because it, it doesn't feel like enough. I definitely feel like I could sleep for another week or so, but there's no time to sleep for a week. I gotta go shower, we can go visit Laura and then go to Natasha's thing and then that should wrap it up for the evening. Looking forward to it, let's go. I'm also bringing all of her kitchen stuff back to her. Laura left a bunch of kitchen stuff in here, which, let's be honest, this is actually a pretty safe bet considering that I don't even have a kitchen. Stuff's safe with me, and but I'm, it, it won't have to stay with me any longer. She's got a really cool apartment by the sound of things, and I'm really jealous of the location as well, so uh, prepare to be drenched green with envy here shortly. drawback to having no elevator. <laughs> Anyways, we're here. So I'm already super, super jealous of her location. <laughs> yeah, I'm really jealous. She's got lots of space. We don't really have time to go over it. I'm sure I can show you another time because I'm sure I'll be back here, but it's, I'm, I'm very jealous of the location and everything, basically. Mostly the location. Anywho, we gotta go. We're running late. We gotta go see Natasha's thing on the mover. So, on we go. <laughs> From 300. <laughs> that is exciting. You guys see, I don't know if I have this one. Uh, it's, uh, there we go. Congratulations, you're so close. So close. <laughs> one more. Okay, so not congratulations yet, but nearly congratulations. <laughs> I don't think these people are here for what we're here for. Usually you're not allowed to take photos inside, but we're gonna see if we can get away with it just a little bit. B O B. Great job, Natasha. That was really nice. It was basically a uh, well, I was put on by a teen book club. This is an English-speaking book club for teenagers. Pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, really nice. It was really welcoming and. I don't know, really cool. Maybe think of reading books when I was a kid. So, anywho, very proud of you, Natasha. Well done, thanks for finally signing my book as well. Thought there was no more appropriate place to have my book signed than at a book signing, so that's where I got it done. I gotta go home, 
wrap this up, wrap the rest of my life up, and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for, you know, whatever else we stumble into here in Paris on a Tuesday. Day, day. Oh gosh, the oof. The wheels are coming off. Let's just end this now. See you tomorrow.